I am going to do a bit of an experiment with this bar. I have not cleaned off any of the markings on here. I have taken off any stickers though, because you can't really paint over that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do half of this bar over this side. I'm going to put primer on. So I've got white primer and I'm going to try prime that and I'm going to prime it twice. Over on this side of the bar, I'm just going to use the colour because those tins say that they are prime in colour. So I want to know whether I have to prime as well. Okay, so using the Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover Flat White Primer. Okay, so that was one coat and we're going to let that dry now and we'll come back and do another coat on there and we'll do our first coat of colour on that side. See you soon. Okay, so this is dry to the touch now. We're going to do a second coat of primer on this side and on that end we're going to do colour. Okay, so the second coat of primer is done on here. I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to paint the whole bar and we'll surprise you in what colour Celine is going to choose. So now for our big test, I am now going to paint this whole bar and I think our colour is going to be pink. Okay, from doing this experiment of doing the primer up this end and no primer down that end, it has shown me that the paint is going on a bit better, although those marks that were on the bar, that, that those barcodes, I can still see through even though I did primer on this end and no primer on that end. I can see those black barcodes on this side and I can see the black barcodes on that side. So it's showing me that if you really want your bar to look good, you're gonna to have to clean the, your bar first with the acetone and it's a step that you can't miss out on. To get the best paint results for your do-it-yourself PVC ballet bar, you really need to clean your pipes. Check out how I clean my bars in the tutorial I created on the Dance Parent 101 YouTube channel. I'll link to it here. So this is the double PVC bar. It's probably one of the ones that most people are going to go and make. So I'm going to do um, two coats of primer on this bar and then I will do a coat of paint as per the instructions on the paint. So I'm going to do one light coat and do another second light coat and I'll start. Gonna let that dry and then I'll do one more coat of primer before putting on the actual colour. So this is second coat on our double PVC bar that is glued in. Second coat of primer is done on this bar. 
So we'll just need to wait for it to dry and then we'll put its color on. Now I've done my two coats of primer on this bar and we're up to our color and I have chosen Seaside Gloss. So a nice bright blue for this one, should be lots of fun. And um, giving it a good shake. And it does say double cover technology. So I'm hoping that we will don't have to do two coats. One trick I have kind of learnt, um, I haven't pushed them in too far, the legs in too far, so that we do get some cover on the legs. But the, one of the tricks I have learnt is that start with the bar downwards. And that way I can get the underside first and hopefully only have to do one coat of the underside. Um, so that we don't have to lean the bar later down when it's still dry, but it's usually a little bit tacky. Okay, so let's have a look at what this is gonna look like. I mean, looking at the whole bar now, it looks very bright, but I really like it. So I'm gonna let it dry for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Then I'm gonna bring it back and I'll have a look at what needs to be retouched on it. So this is our double PVC bar stuck together with glue. It had two coats of primer. Now it's had one coat of paint. And now I'm just gonna do one more kind of touch up um, with the um, Rust-Oleum in Gloss Seaside because I can see a few bits where I've kind of missed. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that this bar is now fully painted and done. I've got all those spots, just needs to dry for a couple of days. The Rust-Oleum does say that on certain plastics, it can take five to seven days for it to fully, um, what does it say? On plastic, maximum paint adhesion and durability is achieved in five to seven days. So I might leave this bar to the side for the week and then we'll start using it and I'll tell you all about how the paint job's going and how we like using this bar in the big review of all the bars that I do. This bar is our double bar made from drainage pipe and put together just with screws. I cleaned it down with acetone so it's all been nicely cleaned. And because it doesn't have any of the glue, um, the PVC glue, the green glue, I'm just gonna not prime this one. I am just going to spray it with the paint and hopefully that will be okay. Um, because it does say it's paint and primer. So I'm gonna see if I can skip that step and just do two coats of this on the bar. So we're going for, this one is called Berry Pink. So hopefully, that looks really nice and pretty. Hey, can you hold that for a minute? Give it a shake while I put my gloves on. I already gave it a big shake. You already gave it a big shake. I'll give another big shake.
Okay, so I have tried to be as light as possible, but I do see drips over the bar. Um, I don't think it's actually going to need a full second coat, but once it is dry, I'm going to have to do tip it upside down and do underneath the legs and just a few little spots on that. So it says it needs um, 20 minutes at least to, to dry to be able to touch um, and to do a recoat within the hour. So, oh, you're gonna put the lid on. So we will come back and paint this one a second time. Don't go too close, you'll get it all over your arm. The pink bar has had its first coat. It's had about 20 to 30 minutes to dry and it is like touch dry. So I need to push it forward so I can paint underneath properly. Okay, so second coat, I probably didn't do over the whole bar. I did in a lot of spaces that um, I could see the pipe underneath. But I think this one is done now and we will let it go and dry for a whole 24 hours now. It's been a really long day for me and I hope that in all of this, I've somehow gotten some tips out there for you. Some of the number one or two top tips that have come up for me today are that yes, you definitely have to clean and prepare your ballet bar or your project beforehand, whether it be your PVC pipes and cleaning all those barcodes off with acetone um, and just basically giving the whole bar a nice clean with the acetone and also getting off any stickers and gooiness with um, the dissolve it or with the goo be gone kind of stuff. Just making sure they're nice and clean because when I did the experiment of painting over all that kind of stuff, it just didn't work. You do need to prepare your, your pipes for that. And I'm going to have a big review um, video of all the bars that I have made and painted and talk about how we've been using them and just talk about the pros and cons of each one of them, tell you which ones we like the best and hopefully you'll find one in there that you like too. If you like today's video, please subscribe, hit that like button and I'll see you soon. Bye.